Now, what else science is telling us about inflammation is remarkable. Dr. Herbert from Harvard has found on brain scans that kids with autism have swollen large brains. Dr. Vargas from Johns Hopkins has found inflammation in the spinal fluid and on brain biopsies of autistic children. And researchers from UC Davis have found 70% of kids on the autistic spectrum have an altered immune function. And almost all of these kids have swollen bellies and gut problems, which isn't a coincidence, since over half of the immune system is in the gut. And when it gets activated, you get inflamed and your brain's inflamed. So what can you do about it? Well, if you treat the inflammation, the symptoms go away. You know, children on the autistic spectrum can wake up from their silent worlds by doing this. Reminds me of Jimmy, who came to see me at about three years old. He was diagnosed with regressive autism. And you know what I did? I, I, all I did was get rid of the inflammation in his gut, fix his biochemistry, gave him the right nutrients, got rid of things that were inflaming his brain like gluten and dairy. And his dad told me he took him to school this fall and he had to go to a normal school because he lost his diagnosis of autism and he looked at him through the window playing with his friends like a normal kid and the father started crying. Are you just starting to see how this is all connected? It's not just one thing, right? It's everything. If you're depressed and have an irritable bowel or eczema and headaches and sinus congestion and joint pain, it doesn't mean you need to see five different specialists. It means you have a few underlying problems in, in the body that are out of balance. These imbalances cause all your problems. You don't need a separate medication for each one. 